Hey friends, it's Sarah. Today I wanted to make a quick unboxing video to show you my new Brother sublimation printer. This is Brother's SP1. It's their brand new sublimation printer. And for those of you who don't know, sublimation printing is a form of printing where you use sublimation ink to print on sublimation paper and then you transfer the ink with a heat press application onto different poly substrate items like phone cases, coasters, um, wall hangings, polyester t-shirts and clothing and stuff like that. So let's open up the box, get it set up and let's go. All right, so I'm gonna put this on the floor. Slice it open. Okay, so right on top I have my power cord, but it's actually connected to the machine, so I can't pull it out. I have my sublimation inks, yellow, magenta, cyan, and black. And they're all vacuum sealed. I'm gonna place those aside. Some styrofoam. And the printer is facing up like this. It's in a plastic bag so it's easy to pull out and you can see it's pretty lightweight. So I'm going to flip it around. There it is. So the power cord is already connected. Just going to take the plastic off. And then I also have, looks like, some sublimation paper in the box. So I have a quick start guide and I have a small pack of sublimation paper to get started. When I ordered the printer, I also ordered two additional packs of sublimation paper. Um, for some reason, I thought there were 25 sheets in a pack, but Brother sells them with 100 sheets in the pack. So I now have this starter set of sublimation paper plus 200 sheets of sublimation paper. They come in eight and a half by 11. And this is the only size uh, right now for this machine, for this printer. Okay, so I'm removing the tape from the front. Now, um, this top does open, but there is no scanning function with this machine. So there's actually, it looks like a folder right here. I guess that could be useful for storing your sublimation paper. And then there is a super cute, there's a super cute guide uh, that's actually pasted on here. I'm trying to see if it's supposed to come off. I don't think it's supposed to come off. And it tells you how to set up the machine. So I'm going to play around with that. Looks like there's also a code right on the front of the machine, so they're making it really easy. This machine is designed to be used with their app, Artspira, and there are lots of free sublimation designs on the app, and you can print directly from the app, which can be on your phone or your tablet. So they're definitely guiding us towards using Artspira. Let's plug this in. Right when I plug it in, the screen pops up and it's telling me to install my starter inks. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow the instructions on the screen to do that. Open the ink cartridge right there. And then it says to quickly shake the ink cartridge horizontally 15 times, gives you a diagram. Okay. 
and then insert each of them pushing firmly and there's a die a sticker right here that shows me where to put each color so it's pretty foolproof and it just clicks right in so I'm going to do that with the rest of the colors All right, let's see what the next step is on the screen. So let's close the cover. And it's going to prepare my ink for me. Now it's asking me to set the date. It is 2024 and the month it is February. And today is the 7th. Oops. And the time is And now it's asking me to connect to the internet. So I'm going to do that. And now I just have to wait for the ink to be set up. All right, the setup is all done. So now it's telling me to load the paper. So I'm gonna open up the paper tray, get my starter set of sublimation paper. It even kind of tells me that um, which side is the printable side, so I can get a nice feel for it. Oh, and there's also a cut in the corner of the paper right there. And that shows you how to load it in. Okay, so that actually makes it really easy. So it's telling me that the cut corner should be positioned in the bottom left of my paper tray or actually no, it should be positioned in the bottom right of the paper tray. So that means the printable side goes down. That is pretty awesome. So I'm never gonna have to guess which side is the printable side. I can just make sure that the cut corner is at the bottom right of the paper tray. Here's my tray. I'm gonna adjust it out to the letter size letter is all the way out to the side so I'm going to adjust it all the way out and then put the paper in fits perfectly and again just checking that that little cut edge is in the bottom right corner of the tray now I'm going to load it in All right, so it printed out a test print for me and the screen is showing me what the test print should look like. So, mine looks nice and clean. None of the little dots are missing. There are no streaks. Looks great. So I'm going to say no. I 
I think that's it. I think we are set up. Before I'm able to connect my machine to my ArtSphere app, I need to connect it to the same wireless network that my phone or my tablet that I'm using with ArtSphere is connected to. So I am going to put in the password for my wireless network and get my printer connected to the Wi-Fi. It was pretty easy to set this sweet little printer up. Um, all of the steps that I just went through are listed out very clearly in the get starting guide. And so we basically unboxed the printer, plugged it in, set up the ink, set up the paper, connected to Wi-Fi, and then connected to the ArtSphere app, which as you saw was really quick press of a button. And now we're ready to print. So let's do a test print and then that'll be a wrap on this unboxing for Brothers Sublimation Printer SP1. It was super quiet when it printed and it automatically mirrored my print for me. So now I don't have to think about that and that eliminates an extra step when I'm printing. Now it's ready to be heat pressed onto my item. Again, it can go on anything that is made out of polyester. So any poly substrate. And that is the Brother Sublimation Printer in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and check my channel for more videos about the SP1. Bye.